The post parade for race two is led by number one, Aunt Opal, owned by John Hogsmer and Don Hallmark, trained by Sergio Morfin, ridden by Edgar Pieris. Scratch two, Project Logic. Number three, Goddess Aphrodite, owned by Mary and Tom Dreyer, trained by Jesus Mendoza. And we welcome Kelly McDade back to action. Number four, Weatherly, owned by John Tipton, trained by Angela Aquino. Henry Lopez is astride. Five, Tony's Babe for Daniel Harrelson. Ricardo Guillen trains. Cesar Franco has the mount. Six, this one's for Barry. Races for Jose Angel Paez Jr. and Anthony Paez. Is trained by Roman Figueroa, ridden by Francisco Orduna Rojas. Race two is racing. Weatherly from the middle gate springs out quickly, is now shaded by Tony's Babe and Aunt Opal. And this one's for Barry, is close to the speed out wide. Goddess Aphrodite is a clear trailer linking up with the main track where Aunt Opal kicks to a one length lead over Tony's Babe. Two lengths to Weatherly on the inside of this one's for Barry. Goddess Aphrodite four lengths behind that pair, seven from the leader. Aunt Opal carries the field into the turn, a length and a half clear of Tony's Babe, followed by Weatherly, who's starting to improve along the inside, shaking well clear of this one's for Barry. They reach the top of the stretch. Aunt Opal from Tony's Babe and Weatherly just in behind them third. Aunt Opal fields the whip, responds gamely, is clear by two lengths mid-stretch from Tony's Babe and on the inside Weatherly. It's Aunt Opal to take them all the way. Aunt Opal defeating Tony's Babe a length and a half. Weatherly was a half length back third, clear of this one's for Barry. No way back to the winner's circle. A Bay Philly three by Shaman Ghost from the Dakarchi Dam Harper Ray. Bred in California and raced by John Hagsma and Don Hallmark. Trained by Sergio Morfin, ridden by Edgar Pieris.